Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I'm your host, Michael Crane. Well, today's Automation Minute is going to be doing a little bit of HTML automation uh, using curl or CURL. And we're going to be using it on a Linux platform. Uh, I believe curl comes uh, standard on most Linux platforms. Uh, don't hold me to that. And I do not know if it'll work with Sigwin or not. You'll have to check that out for yourself if you want to try to use it on a Windows box. But for Linux, it works great. If, you, if it's not on your platform, you can get it at this website here, uh, https uh, curl.haxx.se. And I believe it was written by Daniel Stenberg, if I'm saying that correctly, uh, sometime in the 90s. So, um, so yeah, it's a great website. It's still, still in development. I think the uh, last update I saw was in 2017, so uh, it's still viable. Um, today we're going to be automating this, uh, this Muxall uh, turntable. It's basically a, a motorized variable speed Lazy Susan that has a, um, a web browser interface, which means it uses HTML. And so we're going to, uh, to look at uh, automating that a little bit without using the uh, web browser. So let's get started. What I've got pulled up is I've got a uh, webcam on the uh, turntable right here shooting live video and I've also got the uh, the web page GUI pulled up so we can take a look at um, how it operates real quick you know target RPM runtime minutes fractional turn pause time all that other fun stuff uh, let's just turn the thing on and uh, it's set for one one uh, rotation per minute and it's going counterclockwise if you look at this right here it's checked so we'll just turn it on and um, okay as you can see it's turning and you have to excuse it it's not really jumpy just the video is jumpy it is actually turning smoothly uh, but okay so we we turned it on uh, let's turn it off okay that's pretty not interesting right so now we need want to automate it you always start with our friend Wireshark okay so I pulled up Wireshark here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and and um, select this isn't gonna be a Wireshark tutorial that would be a series of videos so we're gonna start and as you can see there are a bazillion packets so and it's because of the video and everything else that's going on so we need to add a filter so we want to look at HTTP well oh, as you can see I've already been doing it and and IP dot ADR it's equals equals there we go okay enter all right now we have no packets so I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this over here for a second. We're going to click on on. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and stop this. And let's take a look at this post that it did. So if you open this up, you can see, okay, so it did TT control equals one and TT on equals one. All right. So that's how it turns it on. So let's... Um, Let's restart this, and let's see what happens when we turn it off. Oh, and you can look at the camera. You can see it's, it is truly turning, right? Okay, so let's go turn it off. All right. I'll stop this. Let's go look at it. So now we got TT control equals 1 and TT on equals 0. TT on equals 0. Turned it off, and we can verify that. Yes, it is off. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What else? Uh, let's restart this. All right. And uh, let's just change some. Let's check the RPM. All right. And we'll submit that. And, uh, whoa, we got a whole bunch of them now. So, now we got update profile, 
target RPM equals four is counterclockwise. Is one, run time one, run forever one. So you can kind of see it's just going through all the settings in here. And and if you're wondering about like this um, target RPM equals four, well, this target RPM is actually a drop down box. So it's uh, one, two, three, and four, right? Okay, so that's that's what it's doing. It's using the index. Or use an API of something that has a web page and you're not really sure uh, how it's working, use Wireshark. That is a, it is a wonderful tool. Okay, so I went ahead and and copied those uh, commands. And uh, let's VI that real quick. Test. Submit. Okay, so there's all the, the commands that that were in that submit uh, Wireshark capture that we we did and also made these these other little uh, uh, files right here one is a uh, TT on so we'll just cat oops TT on oops cat TT on and as you can see it's just got TT control equals one TT on equals one which we knew and if we look at the Cat TT off. So that's what we saw on Wireshark. Okay, so using curl. Now I've went ahead and was playing with this, so I didn't have to uh, bore you with me floundering around trying to remember how to do the the curl command. So okay, so if we uh, cat TT commands, um, you'll see I've I've made a couple test curl commands. Uh, that we can use uh, to create our script with. So this is um, this is the curl curl command for the test submit that um, that we we have it. It actually okay, let me explain that. So it's the, the command is curl hyphen d means it's gonna it's it stands for data I think and it means it's gonna do a post. This little at symbol right there. Tells curl is going to uh, be using a file to get the um, post data from, and of course this is the file file name, and this is the um, destination URL where it's going to send uh, the post to. Okay, which is the IP address of the turntable. Okay, so let's try a couple of these commands. Um, uh, first, we'll do the. Uh, I guess we can vi this test submit file so we'll vim and let's see um, it's set for uh, counterclockwise uh, runtime equals one second uh, run forever frac turn is one which I believe is is off I mean um, frac turn is no yeah so it's one okay so uh, yeah, let's manually refresh this. Okay, yeah. So let's um, let's change it. Let's make um, uh, let's change the direction of them. Zero. Okay, so now he's gonna turn clockwise. All right. So um, let's do this. Just copy and paste these guys in there. Okay, so this is the submit without the turning it on and off okay uh, let's turn it on yep and it is turning as strange as that looks <laughs> for some reason in the camera it's reverse that is counterclockwise but I mean that is it looks like in the camera is turning counterclockwise but I uh, promise you in real life it is turning clockwise I am um, I, I don't know why that is the case okay so I think I figured it out the uh, the camera the Amcrest Amcrest camera was set to mirror uh, for some bizarre reason um, so uh, yeah let's try that again so we're going to cat tt commands, all right? Uh, I'm not going to do the test submit. Let's just turn it on. 
Make sure it's turning the direction we expect it to turn. Ah, there we go. Now it's going the right direction. Very good. And we'll go ahead and turn it off. Perfect. Okay, so you might be thinking that's uh that's not very exciting automation and what would be the use of it? You can just use the web browser, right? Well, uh say for instance you wanted to um put the TT on, TT off in a cron job, so uh in the morning it would uh turn on the turntable, display whatever product you have, at night it would turn it off. And it would repeat it depending on the cron schedule you have set up. That would be one thing. Or um, what if you want to do something that the GUI doesn't do? So let's say we want to run it at 1 RPM uh, clockwise. And we want to run it for, let's say, 10 seconds. Right? Which this is only in minutes, right? So we can't run 10 seconds. This won't take a fraction. And uh, we won't mess around with fractional turns or pause right now. So, but yeah, so let's just say we want to go uh, target RPM of 1 RPM, which is uh, index number 1, 2, 3. And clockwise, we want to run it for 10 seconds. And then we want it to uh, reverse at 2 RPMs, which is index 4, at clockwise. Okay, and so uh, let's take a look at that. Um, first thing we need to do is I need to uh, uh, copy this test submit here. And we'll call it uh, submit uh, clockwise. Okay, and um, let's vi submit clockwise, and we want target RPM of three which is uh, one rpm and it is clockwise because it is counterclockwise is set to zero all right so we're good and now we want to uh, uh, copy that test submit again except we're going to make this one counterclockwise and it's vi him okay we want the target rpm of him to be four all right and we want them to go counterclockwise, right? Oh, okay. All right, so now we need to put this in a script. So um, let's just uh, call it a VI script, <laughs> for lack of a, a more creative name. All right. Okay, so the first thing we want to put in our script is uh, we want a shebang which is a uh, hash bang and we're going to tell the kernel that this is going to be a bash script okay and um, so uh, yeah we just need to put in our uh, our our curl commands Let's paste these guys in there so um, whenever you're writing a script it's always good to use the uh, the full path name of the commands. So um, uh, let's do that. So we want the full path name of curl and uh, and the path name. Well, we'll just use a relative path for these guys. So let's. Um, so we'll do a which curl. Oops. Okay. So it's in uh, user bin. So we'll uh, vi our file again. Uh, slash usr slash bin okay Oop. okay oh and we we're going to use relative path names for these guys on second thought let's and the reason why you do this is if another script calls our script and and, and it won't it won't be able to let's say it's in a separate directory that this this relative path is not going to work so I, I, I know that this is in slash script. Oop, if I can spell scripts, scripts. Okay. 
All right, so, uh, oh, this is not right. What do we call this? We got uh, submit uh, CW, so that's going to be the first thing. And then we're going to, uh, then the other one, we're going to turn him on. So then we need another guy here. And we'll call him submit, uh, let's see, oops. CCW for the counterclockwise. Okay, so what do we got here? We got the submit clockwise, and we're going to turn them on. Uh, we don't need to turn it off to change direction, so we're just going to submit it counterclockwise, and then we're going to turn it off. First, let's see here. We want to submit it, okay, and then turn it on. Then we're going to want to sleep for 10 seconds, all right? We're going to change direction, and we're going to run it for another 10 seconds, all right, and then we're going to turn it off. All right, that should work. Let's give it a shot. Um, oh, uh, let's see, LS minus LRT. Oh, okay, so we also need to make our script executable, so we're going to change mod uh, plus X on our script. Okay, now it's executable. So let's just run it. See what happens. Okay, that should be the submit. Now it's turning it on. It is turning clockwise. Very good. And 10 seconds later. Oh, there we go. So now it's running at counterclockwise. Oh, you notice how, how it's going a lot faster now, too. It's hard to tell. It kind of jumps around in this. Um, oh, it didn't turn it on. Off. <laughs> what happened? Okay, so after looking at it for a second, it was definitely a, um, a keyboard to brain error. I found it, and it is... Instead of putting scripts, I put script. And, um, oops. And so when I copied and pasted it, it still didn't work. If we put it in our command, it should turn it off. All right. Well, that's, um, that's different. That's a pretty ugly looking script, though, isn't it? So, Maybe we should doll it up. For one thing, I don't like all this this output. So um, let's VIR script again. And uh, there's a way to make it quiet and curl. It's a hyphen S. That's for its uh, like menu stuff. I haven't actually seen the menu pop up, but we're going to go ahead and put it in there anyway. I think, oops, the hyphen S um stands for silent or something like that okay and um another thing we can do too we're going to send the output to uh slash dev slash null okay all right so now we're sending all the output to uh dev null but the problem is is now we won't see it doing anything so now what we need is some uh, print statements. Uh, you can use echo. Uh, I like using printf. So we're going to use printf. So, oops. So we're going to say printf. And um, I think I'll put a, a new line in first. Okay. So printf. This will basically just put a space in between the, the output. So uh, let's see, what's the first thing? We're going to submit, let's say submitting changes for CW clockwise rotation at 1 R oop, RPM. And um, we don't need this H at the end. Okay. You notice I didn't put a new line after that because I want us to tell us tell us when it's done. So we're going to do a printf 
And um, I'm going to say um, done. Okay. And then we'll put a new line in there. Okay, so um, now we're going to say print F. Um, let's say uh, starting uh, turntable. All right. Uh, let's see here. Now we'll say uh, print F uh, done. Oh, now we need a new line there, all right. And um, now I'll say print F um, running for 10 seconds. Okay. And now we're going to say print F done with a new line. Okay, now we're going to say print F. Uh, submitting. Ooh, maybe I can just copy this. Oh, that's a lot better than typing it in. At 2 RPM, and we're going to be going counterclockwise. Okay. And print. Yeah, see, I can. Instead of typing this in over and over again. Done. And see, so now we're going to be running for another 10 seconds. Okay. Um, now we're going to be print F done. And now we're going to be uh, stopping. Stopping. Turntable. And one last done. All right. Well, if I haven't fat fingered anything, this should work. Hopefully, let's give it a shot. Submitting changes for clockwise rotation at one RPM. Done. Starting turntable. Done. Okay. Yeah. It's running it for ten seconds. Now it's done. It's changing our rotation. Done. Yep. It's going at clock counterclockwise at 2 RPM. Running it for another 10 seconds. And now it's stopping it. And it's all done. Well, there you go. Well, I think that's about it for this video. Um, you can get really real creative with... Um, this automation if, if you're gonna do any kind of string parsing though I would probably suggest Python or Java um, yeah I wouldn't try to use bash to do that but for little simple scripts like this uh, bash is perfectly suitable so uh, anyway I hope you like that video if you have any questions or comments leave them in the uh, comments below I'll try to answer them the best I can and um, uh, if you like it give it a, a thumbs up and I'll see you next time